The week many college football fans in Tuscaloosa and College Station have waited for since November is finally here. The biggest game of the season, according to some, just days away. But you wouldn't know it listening to the Aggies on Tuesday. And the locker room is just the same as it was last week, you know, preparing for the next opponent. You know, it just so happened this week, you know, it is Alabama. If you approach it like it's the Super Bowl, you're going to go out there, be nervous, and you're going to do things you don't normally do. So you have to approach it like it's another week. A week similar to this has only happened five times in the history of Kyle Field, with a number one ranked opponent coming to town. Throw in that it's an SEC West team that the Aggies beat last season, and the defending two-time BCS champions, and the importance grows. Still, the Aggies won't take the bait. As a player coming into a big game like this, you don't want to blow it out of proportion. It's just another, it's just another game for us, and uh, we're just starting our SEC conference play. A&M plays Saturday as the sixth-ranked team in the country, knowing that a win would vault the maroon and white into the top five by week four. Maybe that would get a reaction. We prepare for for games, you know, the same each week. We just want to be one and zero every week, and. Uh, from last year, us beating them, people didn't expect that, and you know, people probably don't expect it this year. People don't. The Tide enters Saturday as seven-point favorites, but Coach Sumlin thinks becoming an elite program won't just take another win against Bama on Saturday. We're just getting started at this thing, and but I think it is important from uh, internally for us to remain consistent in our approach, and, and our, I think our players feel that. Just another week covering the Aggies, you could say. Chris Vlahos. KX HD Sports.